What's going on guys? Gia Snowdate right here and in today's video we're going to talk about the iOS 11 Beta 3. Now it has been seeded by Apple three days ago but I didn't make a video back then since I wanted to take a look at it in depth and do some real work on the device and see how the battery is going, how the multitasking is going and um, in order to see you know on the um, the deeper side of the OS itself, not only you know in the first seconds and then make a video. So here is my review for it after three days of intense usage. Now this is an iPod Touch sixth generation that has been through um, through a lot of things these days, like you know a video playing on YouTube, then on Safari side and so on. And I've been also doing some social networking on it. And um, yeah, let's get prove it. Let's see what are the newest features introduced in the beta 3 at first. And I'm going to start with the control center since it's probably uh, the one who got a lot of things in here as well. Now if you take a look on the um, on the top, let me show you, you can see we have the Bluetooth icon right next to the battery and you can see the Bluetooth icon is lit up and it's no longer you know faded, uh, it's no longer gray, which um, which looks like it's being in use. It's look, it looks like it's uh, connected to a device for the moment, while in fact it is not. This is a change in beta 3. It's a, a little bit confusing if you ask me. And um, I'm going to talk a bit about the control center and this toggle in here. We're going to uh, force touch on them to, to show you. You can see we have the Wi Fi and it's connected currently to Comcast, and we have the Bluetooth one. And I'm going to disable both Bluetooth and Wi Fi to see what happens. So theoretically it says not connected, not connected and yes unfortunately these toggles in here do not actually disable the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth. It just disconnects from any device connected or from any router connected. Let me show you. So it says that it's not connected but as you can see both uh, the icon of Bluetooth and the icon for the Wi-Fi are in there and I'm going to go ahead here on settings to prove you that. If you go here to Wi-Fi you can see it is activated, the toggle is on but it's not connected to any network and it's the same thing for Bluetooth actually. You can see it's on but it's not connected to anything. That doesn't mean the toggle has been turned off. So if you're planning to disable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi from these toggles in here, keep in mind it's not going to disconnect completely the uh, the module inside the phone is just going to disconnect it from connected routers or devices but the module itself is still going to be on and it's still going to consume the battery keep that in mind speaking about battery the battery life is definitely uh, improved a bit but it's still very bad in fact on this particular device which is an iPod touch 6th generation I haven't been able to get more than like uh, six hours of video playing on YouTube with the maximum brightness and the maximum volume and uh, that's over Wi-Fi of course and of course the device is actually new it only has two or three months uh, since I bought it so it's definitely not uh, worn out the battery so yeah it's not the best battery that you're going to get but keeping in mind that it's a beta software is probably good enough anyways uh, we have more things in here to the control center. So I'm going to show you at first there are some color changes. If you press on and uh, of course enable the uh, the torch you can see the icon is now blue. It used to be black and uh, on the previous version on the beta one if I remember well it used to be uh, orange. Yeah and if you activate the low power mode the low power mode is uh, now orange and it's no longer black as in the previous beta. So there, there are some changes in there. And if you if you force press or 3D touch on um, any of the items in here, you can see that the night shift icon in there is no longer blending into the background. Uh, now it has its own color, dark gray color in there, and you can play with it um, and activate it, and it transforms into a uh, an orange color. And I'm going to turn on, then turn off, okay? And let's move to the next one. Now, if you if you 3D touch or force press on the Apple TV remote, you can see that the interface is a little bit smaller now. Even though this device is um, is not a huge screen uh, itself, it's still smaller. But if you if you're going on an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7 or even a, a, a 6 Plus, 7 Plus, and so on, you're going to have it even smaller. And and this is probably good. Uh, it makes the remote control look a little bit smaller. It used to be bigger. Anyways, going to screen recording in here I'm going to um, force press in it let me oh, no. no turn yourself off 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and here you can see that we have the screen recording, but instead of start recording, now we have start broadcast and uh, the microphone um, toggle, the microphone um, button here is now no longer blending into the background. It has its own dark gray color as well. And if you press it, it transforms into a red one. So there are some cosmetical uh, differences in here that you should probably uh, keep in mind. Let's go ahead and force press on the camera. You can see that now we do have a couple icons in here. We didn't used to have them in the beta second, but now we do have one for take selfie, record video, record slow motion, and have the uh, the icons, the appropriate icons for um, all of them. And uh, the same thing applies if you're going ahead to notes, but I do not have notes in here right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and see other features that we might have um, we might have got into the beta three. Well, if you go ahead here to files, something that I have noticed uh, was the, um, the the new source for location. You know, if you go ahead in here to locations and you, you go to more source, more locations, you have OS 10 server or OS 6 server that you can enable in here on the toggle. It's going to show up in there and you can configure one. But unfortunately for me, as you can see, it does crash. So boom, it crashed. Anyways, uh, something that they did correctly at uh, this time on the beta 3 and probably this is the most important uh, bug fixed in the beta 3 is the app switcher or the multitasking thing. Now you can finally close the applications correctly. You can see I am able to um, close them correctly and return back to the home screen. While in the beta one and the beta second, some applications like the settings one were very stubborn and uh, they did not close, they, they kept on popping back. So I'm going to go ahead in here, try to open a page like the general one since um, this is how I tested in the previous build. And if I try to close it, it does close. It's no longer bringing me to the settings, which is a nice thing to do. Okay, so going back to the settings in here, let's see what else is new. I'm going to go to the control Center. You can see the control center is no longer control center 3, it's uh, control center at, um, as it was in the previous builds. So uh, yeah, just a, um, a little verbiage in there. And if you go ahead in here, you can still have, you know, the customization for all of these things. Uh, nothing really changed in here. Another change we've uh, we've actually got is uh, the Safari. So if you go here to Safari, you know, you have a um, advanced section in here with experimental features and you have new experimental features in here. For example, the asynchronous frame scrolling, the web GPU and so on. There are some more in here that you can uh, toggle on or off. There are more features, but they are small, like on the messages and so on. So so this is basically what uh, what you get with the beta 3. Yes, it did improve the um, the speed of the device and a little bit the battery and they did fix the multitasking thing. And also on the iPad, you no longer need to hold on the application on the multitasking thing and press X in order to close it. You can simply swipe it and it's going to be closed. So they fixed that thing as well, which is quite nice. This is actually it guys, my review after three days of intense usage of the uh, iOS 11 beta 3. And uh, yeah, uh, comparing the um, the Geekbench scores, unfortunately I didn't save a picture, but the difference was completely negligible. Uh, it's not that big. There is a small difference, both on multi-core and single core usage, but it's definitely small enough not to really matter. So um, yeah, Apple seemed to be doing some good things in here, but we still need to wait for more build in, in order to, you know, make this iOS 11 something you, you can use. Anyways, this is it. I'm Geo Snow. Subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up. Tell me in the comment section down below if you like iOS 11 and peace out.